so here's how to update the firmware of the DJI Neo what you want to do is to remove its gimbal protector before turning it on and make sure it has enough battery life in there because it may take some time to do the update make sure that the Wi-Fi Bluetooth and your mobile data are enabled before you open the DJI Fly app once you open the app you'll see the connect so you want to tap on connect and it will just prompt you through click join and it's connecting we we'll just wait for a few seconds or a minute once connected you'll see this thing so you want to select got it then just skip the tutorials you can go back to the tutorials right after the firmware update now let's go back to the home page you'll see the new DJI firmware available on the upper right corner just tap install to update the firmware while waiting to complete the update you might want to select more to view this information including the status of the firmware update one of the most interesting features of this new firmware is that on mobile app control there's already manual control in full screen i think this is essential to me since i only bought the standard package of dji neo without the remote controller so now we can have the mobile app controller in full screen right so now the firmware update is complete we just click ok right so you'll notice that the aircraft is turning off just click ok and you're gonna see the confirmation at the upper right corner of the DJI fly app saying DJI Neo firmware update successful okay let's turn on the aircraft and again connect it to the mobile phone click join and it's connecting you want to select got it then you just skip the tutorials <laughs> alright I think we've got a problem here there's no full screen control in the mobile app okay so I think let's just think 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 hmm firmware is now complete but no full screen control there must be something in here like an option to view the controller in full screen aha uh -huh. i think this app also needs an update let's find it out aha uh -huh. if you're having the same problem with me i think this is the solution you want to make sure that the DJI Fly app is also updated. Better yet, update the app before you update the firmware. Let's turn this thing off for a moment to save some battery. And here it says DJI Neo can now be manually controlled on the full screen on mobile phones via Wi Fi. Okay, so I think everything should be working properly now. we can also use this one connection guide to connect our DJI Neo via mobile device
tap on got it skip the tutorial skip then choose manual control all right gotcha we now have this little icon here in the lower right corner for the full screen control mode right you got it take a look at that you tap on this to take off and have a safe flight all right so if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel please do subscribe thanks for watching